Hello everyone, gentlemen, ladies, children, get to school, welcome back. Fam 15's older version. One, two, loaded. The 26 pound line, 80 pound shock leader. Right, obviously these aren't super old, which someone pointed out. They're just a couple years old, but they're not the new ones. They're not the casting specials. Hopefully, I can get into a few baths. After last time, I've decided to put my rigs on my rig winders. It's crazy. Here we go. Right, rig wise. I'm going with a five foot pulley. So I've got a 4OJ hook to a 4O circle held with my magic tubing. A hundred pound hook length to a swivel, to a bead, a pulley bead, a bead, and a clip ready for my splashdown. There we are. To just recap, a seven ounce gripper to a splashdown, a bead, a pulley bead, a bead, a swivel on 150 pound. Rig body to aid with casting and a 100 pound hook length to my magic tubing, a 4O circle and a 4O J hook. Bait. I have, yet again, my favourite for this time of year, riot bait squid and some frozen blacks that I froze myself. I will be using squid and blacks all day. The reason for this is, one, there should be quite a few form back rays and two, there is definitely a chance of a cod or definitely a chance of a bass. As you can see, I've got a reef system either side of me. So there could be an opportunity to get stuck in today, but I'm using 26 pound ultra cast main line, which I use all the time. And as you know, it's super strong and abrasive with an 80 pound shock leader. Hopefully I can pull through it. Coast in the morning to find a place where no one knows our faces or our names. Let's go. Hopefully, we can get a few fawnies, maybe a bass or a codlin, a conga rail, or maybe. A dogfish, but we've got a chance. What I'll do now, set the second one up. I'm gonna fish exactly the same on both. Whole squid, frozen blacks, casting probably every half an hour. Hey, we've got a chance. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. I was just bringing you back. Oh, that can't be tied already. I was just bringing you back to do some baiting up. My ratchet went off. 
been fishing for about a minute. <laughs> I don't think it's a fish. Could be a few fawnies. I'll leave you running. Beauty. Fresh hooks, new rigs, nice bait, nice rods, good tide, sunshine. We got it all. Healthy, sure hunter. Oh yeah. I've got a secret. I've got McDonald's wrap in there. They brought the wraps back, haven't they? I'll show you that. Guess what? I've already had one, so I bought two. Uh, I'm being good normally. Just fancied it today. Been out jogging, drinking water, not drinking beer. I should be in China today, but I'm not. I couldn't go because I didn't feel very well, so I had to cancel. So I'm pretty guided. But I'm out here fishing instead. But there you go, there's the second one. Another double squid with five black lug. Hey, as you can see, if you watch my videos, it's a new mark for you. I normally fish this one on my own. I don't normally bring you out here. But you've been good girls and boys, so we're trying somewhere different. Anyway, let's go. We're fishing. We've got two in and we're loving life. We could get pestered by congrills today. As in little ones. I've got a 150 pound hook length, just in case, so I don't get bit off. But a fish is a fish. And in Feb, I'm definitely not going to be picky. But my target species are bass and form bat rays. As you can see, the tide's dropped right out now. It didn't really move for the first quarter of an hour, 20 minutes, and now it's definitely gone out. Look at that. We've been fishing for, I don't know, 50 minutes to an hour. Getting blanking. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I don't really expect to catch any fish until the tide's sort of flooding in. The trouble is with where I'm fishing, if I hit it too hard, there's another reef system that looks like that. <laughs> Not as big as that, but you can get stuck in. So what I need to do now, is just flick it off the end of that reef keep hitting the same area as the tide starts flooding in and hopefully I can get on the bass and maybe a conger eel, maybe a form bat ray a little bit further out. But I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep fishing. The sun is shining. It's beautiful. And we got a chance. When the fishing's slow, eat. That's what I do. Now, to be honest, I'm eating healthy, but well, apart from this, well, that's not too bad. When you're fishing out here, you burn it off. A breakfast wrap. Anyway, I'm going to munch on this when I'm fishing. You don't need to see this. It's no good for you. I've got a massive bit of weed on. I'm not sure if I've got a fish either. 
I don't think I have. Weed on. I can't stop. Oh, look at that. Big weed. Oh, damn it. If I had a fish on then, everyone. Oh, oh fucking hell. That's hard work, that. Yeah, buddy. Oh, look at that. People say to me, hey, are those black eights any good? Are they strong enough to fish the Bristol Channel? Yeah, man. There you go. Wow. It can only get better. Yes. I'll keep fishing. I've currently got no bait in the water. All right, what I'm going to do now is use some blow lug. We've got a little bit of water. Hopefully, I can get us into a brass. Bit of blow lug, some rag. Bass love blow lug. Especially in the Bristol Channel. What I'm going to do is top it up or tip it off with some rag. Just like this. And there we go. Let's pull that down. A bit more rag. Yeah. Why not? Big bass, yeah? On the bass, mate. And there you go, there's some beautiful blow lug ready to go out for a bass or maybe a codlin. Nothing fancy. Remember what I said, I can't really hit it too far here. So I'll be in the snags. I'll be in the reef. We got a chance. Nothing fancy. Let's get up nice and high. Like that. There we go. Beauty. Gotta be some fish out there. Wanting them blow lag. If you watch my right hand rod, just been slack line from a bass. Yep. Well, it might be a bit of weed, but I think there's a fish as well. Might just be weed. It smashed me over. Might just be weed, but you don't know. Weed out there, definitely. Can have a fish as well. Nah, just weed. Ah. Fire the fish in. It's the one I just put out on the squid. I think that weed's just come off of this rod straight onto the other. Oh well. Alright. Definitely a bite. Wow. Yeah. Ah. 
miss that one on the blue lug. That's all right. And there we are. I've got blue lug on the near rod. This one, my right hand side. Got double squid on the left one. And there we are. We're fishing. We're about three hours from high. Now we've got the depth, we've got tide, and we've got a chance. Just weed. Good workout. Again. Still fishing hard. Looking up for a bait. Whole squid, eight lug, four rag. Let's go. We're fishing. We're about two hours from high and I'm trying hard. Now's the time I'd expect. Well, I've said that all the way long. So now's the time I would expect to get into a fish. What I'm gonna do is drop this one out there. In the bath hole, you know. On a hard day, I've got to keep the camera rolling, just in case. Bit of weed. We're getting closer. In weed. God, my, my bait's been stripped. What? There's some out there anyway. Sun shining. It's time to get a fish, eh? Couple of hours before high. Definitely got a chance. I've got a whole squid. Ragworm. Come on. Nice. As you can see, we're coming up to high water now. We're on a pebble beach, mate. Anyway, five blacks, two squid, let's go. Yeah, it's been pretty shit, I'm not gonna lie. The fishing has been fabulous. As they say in Wales, fabulous. But the catching has been very bad. But I'll keep fishing, I'll keep trying, keep the baits going in. It's all fun and games. It's fishing. It's not all about catching, it's about being here. And that's what we like. Mm. Wah! It's 
one up. Let's put that one out for the bass. Oh. Blimey now, mate. I'm trying hard. Look where we are. We're right at the top. I fished it for seven hours. <laughs> Man. One bite, maybe. But it's all right, it's beautiful. Uh, anyway, I'll keep fishing. If you're still watching, thanks for that. You must be crazy, like me. But I'll keep fishing, I'll keep trying. We've got about an hour left, or an hour and a half till darkness. I'll stay, I'll max it out, and keep giving it my best. Sometimes even I think, just go home you crazy fool. What are you doing? No, it's fine. It only takes that one bite, that one fish. As you can see, I've got depth, I've got tide, I've got nice baits, my rigs work. Just no fish. Look at her though. I feel alive, which is nice. I feel good. I just need one bite. Come on. Come on. One bite. One fish. I don't really need that. That's catching. It wouldn't matter. It wouldn't change how I feel today. I feel great. The fishing's been hard. And the catching has been even harder. Anyway, I'll bring you back if I get any action. If not, I'll bring you back. We'll do a little outro and I'll get off of here and see you somewhere else. Yeah, maybe. Very soon. I'll keep fishing. Cheers, y'all. Well, that looks beautiful. It's a beautiful evening. I can't really explain this one. Looks perfect for a fish. Got great tide, great baits. Good location. And it's not worked. Looks beautiful though. <laughs> All right. Wow. I keep this sweet. Thanks again for joining me here on the beautiful Bristol Channel. My name's Wayne. It's been an absolute privilege. The fishing has been pretty shit, but I loved it. The catching has been worse. -er. That's what they say here in Somerset. Anyway, I'm gonna pack up now and make my way back up the cliff and off home. Thanks again for joining me. It's been a privilege and I look forward to seeing you somewhere else very soon. Goodbye everyone and I'll see you somewhere else in a couple of days time. <laughs>